Hello guys, it's been very long so long, I've forgotten how to make videos, I've made this one for the third time, I have to apologize, I'm very sick so I sound very bad, but hopefully I'll get better soon. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a long time because I've been busy studying, working and uh, all these other things, so that there's just been too much and I haven't been able to keep my schedule on YouTube and upload every week like I did. So here's what I'm gonna do like now, uh, I'm gonna go back into my schedule because I have a little bit more free time now. I'm still studying, I'm still working, but I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, sometimes I may be uh, lacking some videos for a few weeks or something because I'm uh, stuck with homework or tests or something like that or work or whatever. But I'm still gonna keep uploading, you know. Uh, I'm gonna try to at least uh, uh, get several videos out there per month. Uh, what else should I say before we get into this? Oh yes, my game on RPG Maker. Uh, I haven't stopped developing it. It's much much cooler than uh, what I did, what I've done until now, and what you guys have seen in the development journal videos. Uh, but I'm not gonna be continuing those because there's I don't, I don't feel there's any interest in uh, in them. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you trailers of the game at some point when when I feel it's ready enough. It's been for development for almost I don't know six seven months now, whatever. But uh, it's looking really cool. I've they updated a lot of stuff in the crafting system, in the respawning system. There's so many more quests right now. Uh, all the side quests that I wanted to write in are there. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna see it. But I felt like the journals are just not interesting enough. You know, you know uh, people on the channel uh, prefer to watch gameplay videos or uh, or development tutorials or you know a finished game that they can they can play. So these are the things that uh, I'm gonna put out for you guys. Uh, so what is this? Uh, so, so again, no more development journal videos for Dragon Blade for my RPG Maker game. I'm still developing it, uh, but there are gonna be more tutorial videos for RPG Maker because I uh, I feel that like, like a few people uh, learned something from them or found something they needed for their game. Uh, they they had a few you know a few dozen watches etc. So, uh, uh, and some likes, so I guess that these videos are something that you guys find useful, so I'm gonna keep doing those tutorial videos, but not the development journal. Okay, into this game. I'm coming back to Unity. Uh, I've said that I've wanted to do, like, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've said multiple times that I want to return to Unity, and since I am going to courses on C Sharp, I decided uh, it's a good time to test my skills. And oh, oh, by the way, on JavaScript as well, but this specific game I decided to do on C Sharp. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, I decided to that it was a perfect opportunity to both challenge myself to use uh, stuff that I've, uh, I've learned recently on my courses uh, uh, in this game. Uh, this is one of the things, you know. Uh, uh, so this game is mostly running from. Uh, multi-dimensional arrays, jagged arrays. I don't. I, I actually not sure if it it's really for jagged arrays, but then never mind. Multi-dimensional arrays. Uh, whatever methods, classes, whatever. Uh, you know those basic uh, things in C sharp. So I'm gonna get into tutorials or uh, how to do stuff with uh, in C sharp in Unity and how you can. Uh, do some really cool stuff with it, and how you can uh, preserve the data, etc. Uh, but that's gonna be a little bit uh, later, uh, and uh, simply because I've made a video for every other game that I've made, I wanted to make a video for this one, because I've actually been developing it for a month now, and it's like almost complete. But uh, there's a few bugs and uh, a few uh, additional features that I want to add to the game before I release it. So you cannot play it right now, but it's almost complete as is. I've, I've shown off every other game I have on my channel. Uh, like the RPG Maker 1, you can guess like a whole development series and uh, etc. Et so yeah, uh, I wanted to show this one off as well. And uh, today we're going to just look at the gameplay of the game. Uh, we're not going to be looking at uh, uh, 
anything specific like how it's made or uh, we'll have to have see, see what these bugs are about i'm gonna do this in the development series series like i said uh or in tutorials so uh let's get into it here we have this finance and hr thing we have money here i still haven't uh, uh i still haven't given uh currency to the game so it's just like money 5.5 mil and yeah uh, but in reality, uh, I guess I'm gonna go with dollars, I'm not really sure. Um, we have actors, directors and sets here, uh, you can see the top actors, the top directors and the top set, uh, the most highly, uh, what should I say, the best sets, you know. Uh, sorry, <coughs> well, I'm really sick. Oh, uh, not the best, but uh, how should I put it? The highest quality sets is uh, the right way to put it in English. Sorry, it's not my na native language. Anyways, uh, so let's get into it here. If we have extras of CGI, I could be clicking higher, but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that because we have uh, uh, quite a little money, so that's not really enough for everything that uh, I want to do. Uh, Okay, so we can see work within our budget here. We're gonna buy entire mouse teller and uh, Shuri caps. So uh, we're gonna get them a budget of one million, and we're gonna grab uh, this cheap script here and the cheapest set possible. Perfect. Very little bit uh, internet marketing. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the director is going to be Cole Hartley, and we're going to start production. And immediately, if you go to your movies and production town, then you're going to see that we have a new movie. And, you know, it, they, it has whoever you fired, it, it has whoever <coughs> you fired the support actor, director. Uh, the budget is not the budget that you enter to, into the. the there is some budget input there, but I had to kind of find a different word for these things. This is the total budget of the movie. This is uh, what you put it into that input funnel, which is everything that other uh, the sets, directors, uh, etc. The salaries of uh, your actors, uh, salary of director, and your marketing budget. Everything is rolled up into one, and this is the total budget of the movie. So it's quite a lot actually, we, we, we have very little money left. So I'm just gonna make this a quick video because obviously I'm very sick. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a new video out as soon as I feel better. But we're gonna go into control panel and you can see we have, I have this script here that gives me a lot of, a lot of stuff like info I'm checking. I actually check this, yeah, it's not working properly. So one of the things, uh, this game is not out yet, but it's gonna be out in about a month. One of the things that I need to uh, fix, or there, there's a few bugs, there's a bug in the produce movies that we're not gonna get into because it only happens when you play for a very, very long game. Uh, there is a bug uh, in money when you go into a loan, so your money goes minus uh, something. Uh, there is a bug there you cannot get out of the loan for, loan for some reason. I'm gonna fix that. I think they know where it's coming from, which will be fairly simple. So, yeah, just quite a few bugs. Uh, I still need to add function to the cancel button and the save button. So, and I'm actually working on that, but that not, I don't understand uh, serialization that well yet. I'm trying to learn it. But, We'll see. Uh, anyways, our movie is in production, so let's cheat the game here because we don't need to wait for real time. Uh, but you cannot do this in the game, like in the game, so get it away. When did we start producing this movie? Yeah. Uh, as you can see, when your movie is released, uh, you get uh, reviews. Uh, <coughs> Obviously they hated us. 
you can find the beer Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic, the usual suspects. And now you will can be on your movie this move from here, from movies in production to produce movies. And we have a little bit more statistics here than we have in movies in production, and that's the total score of your movie that is based on the skill of your actors, the skill of your support actor, the skill of your director, and the quality of your set, and uh, the budget and the marketing that you've added to the movie, uh, etc. And uh, yeah, and the quality of the script as well. Uh, all of these things uh, calculate into this final score. And obviously, we don't have a very good score because we chose the cheapest actors and scripts and sets, etc. Uh, but that's how you start because obviously, you don't have enough money. I'm, I'm thinking I can make you know, uh, difficulty levels where you start, uh, start with different amounts, maybe even a sandbox level. Anyways, so this is the basic idea of the game. You create your own movies, uh, <coughs> just a little game I made in one. Uh, we're gonna go into how I made it, how you make the text based movie big, uh, not movie big one, but I guess you can make any kind of big one, uh, with Unity. Uh, one more thing I want to mention about the game is that uh, it's actually uh, reactive, it reacts to, to the display size you give it, so it should run in multiple displays. It cannot run in very well in portrait mode. like. I, I, I recommend keeping landscape mode, landscape mode when you play it on your Android because this is an Android game. I'm gonna release a PC version, but with these buttons and cetera, it's basically meant to be an Android game. So uh, I'm gonna show you what, what why it's not uh, good for portrait view. You can see immediately there's overlapping because there's just like a minimum size that I've given to. Uh, to the panels here, and uh, that's simply because otherwise the text is just gonna become uh, unreadable. And like if you keep pushing it, it's just gonna overlap with the whole bunch of stuff, you know. It's, it keeps decreasing, but it cannot uh, increase the buttons and the panels and everything enough to uh, to fit it all. But if you go to horizontal, like there there are some cases where it's gonna work like this. It's still gonna work. You have access to your if your resolution is this, uh, here it's still gonna work, but at some point, like in some screens, it's gonna create problems. <coughs> Sorry. But if you go, you know, uh, uh, sorry, landscape view, there's not, there shouldn't be that many problems uh, for most landscape uh, devices. Uh, at least that I've tested it with. Anyways. <coughs> <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm very sorry. I'm very sick here. Uh, the game is gonna be ready in about a month. I want to include all the features I said that can be included. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna try to release more videos too. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, and I hope you have fun, you know, playing this game.